Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we're proud to be able to offer two awards to Land Bank of the Philippines. For Best Agribusiness Bank Philippines 2016 and Best CSR Bank Philippines 2016. By 2018, Land Bank aims to be the top universal bank that provides inclusive growth and improves the quality of life in the Philippine countryside where there's a special emphasis on agricultural and farming support through the delivery of innovative financial and other services in all provinces, cities and municipalities. Last June in London, former President and CEO Gilda E. Pico, together with the Philippines' UK Ambassador Evan Garcia, received the awards from Global Banking and Finance at the London Stock Exchange TV studios and later told us more about the Land Bank success story. Mrs. Pico ended her commendable 10-year term as President and CEO of Land Bank on July the 14th, 2016. Ms. Gilda Pico, welcome to London again. Lovely to see you here and congratulations on winning the awards for Global Banking and Finance Review. Thank you very much and we are very proud to accept this award. I share it with all the officers and staff of Land Bank and also our partners and clients. Absolutely. Obviously a great team effort. Uh, and I know that uh, there are many issues we'd perhaps like to discuss about Land Bank, if we may. Uh, one of them, of course, is that you do take in, uh, terribly seriously uh, the corporate social responsibility that you have. Uh, why is that so important to, to Land Bank, would you say? Well, uh, Land Bank's commitment to corporate social responsibility is rooted in the bank's mission and vision, which is promoting inclusive growth and improving the lives of our constituents. More than a bank concerned with profit, Land Bank's uh, operations is anchored on our social mandate of helping uh, the community, uh, empowering people, and also contributing to the government's trust of growing our nation. So those are some of the, the important elements. Tell us about some of the current CSR or corporate social responsibility projects that you have underway at the moment. Our corporate social uh, responsibility strategy is really guided by five sustainable cornerstones. These are uh, enterprise development, uh, community development, environmental protection and management, customer service, and of course, employee uh, development. Well, these cornerstones are the foundations uh, where Land Bank uh, builds its efforts to promote sustainable development. Uh, to attain the um, cornerstones and to be aligned with the uh, vision and mission of Land Bank, we focus on four key areas. This is what we call the lead, which is livelihood, environment, education, and disaster response. So these are the four areas where Land Bank focuses on. There are a lot of elements in the corporate social responsibility, but we uh, concentrate on two, which is relevance to our business and also uh, stakeholders engagement and communication. We believe that these are the two uh, important elements because uh, corporate social responsibility should be uh, aligned to your business and should reflect what the business is and what the business stands for. And uh, corporate engagement and communication is also important because we have to be responsive to the needs of all our stakeholders. How do you actually go about selecting uh, you know, a, a suitable CSR project? Well, uh, CSR uh, projects are really very challenging because uh, sustainability is a challenge. So it's important that we uh, choose the right CSR projects. Uh, our organization has a clear strategy and the CSR program should be aligned to our business and also to uh, what the, our uh, bank stands for. We are encouraging our employees to do volunteerism uh, in order for them to be able to help 
in our inclusive growth program. So you'd like to involve the staff in many of these projects and get them yes. to be part of the project projects as well. Yeah. Now, I know that uh, Land Bank actually is the largest government bank in the Philippines, uh, and obviously it's vital that uh, you sustain viability uh, when you are doing these projects. How do you go about balancing uh, what is economically viable uh, with your social responsibility? Well, for the last 52 years, we have been very successful in balancing uh, our du dual role as a catalyst of prog progress in the countryside and at the same time maintaining commercial viability. Well, we do this by uh, focusing on our three business goals, which are pursuit of mandate, financial viability, and customer service. We make sure that our uh, commercial uh, activities will generate enough revenue so that we can uh, support, uh, implement, and sustain our developmental projects. But uh, over the years, uh, we have proven that uh, development banking is also viable because uh, despite the fact that uh, land banks uh, loans to priority sector is about 85 to 88%, we are still one of the top five banks in the country and one of the most profitable. Well, that obviously uh, is excellent. We'll come on to that a little bit more in a moment, if we may. Uh, what are, are some of the challenges and indeed opportunities uh, in the banking sector within the Philippines at the moment, would you say? Well, uh, the Philippines, the Philippine economy has been growing uh, steadily. Uh, as a matter of fact, our growth for the first uh, quarter is 6.9, which is the fastest growing economy in the Southeast Asia. So we are looking at another solid uh, year for the banking sector because of the uh, steady growth of our economy, the healthy uh, capitalization and asset quality of the Philippine banks. But of course, there are internal and external challenges. There are structural and uh, other reforms that are being made by our regulatory bodies. And of course, the ASEAN integration. The coming in of bigger banks will uh, steer uh, very big competition for the local banks. And of course, uh, the net margins of the local banks will be affected. So uh, local banks should uh, shape up and uh, look for other sources of revenues like uh, from tra non-traditional and traditional uh, sources and of course expand in areas where they think the foreign banks will not uh, go into. Like in the case of uh, land bank, we are looking at expanding deeper into the unserved and underserved areas because we believe that uh, these big banks will not go into these areas. Because it's such a, a large country with many islands and that is a challenge of course for, yes. for all banks including yours. Yeah. Now if we may talk about you for a moment, you are indeed the first woman president and CEO of Land Bank, uh, and since you took office in, in 2006, there has been considerable growth. Indeed, uh, one of the country's top five universal banks, currently ranked fourth in terms of assets, loans and deposits. What do you actually attribute to that success, do you think? Well, as a CEO and president, well, it's really a challenge to keep uh, all the bank units aligned with the vision and mission of Land Bank given its very unique uh, social mandate. Uh, fortunately, as a homegrown land banker, uh, this equipped me well to articulate and drive the organization to its vision and also to uh, inspire our employees to uh, work and attain the corporate objective of Land Bank. Well, our employees are very passionate and dedicated, and it doesn't uh, take much to uh, inspire them because a public service mindset is uh, embedded deep in the organization. And uh, our employees knows how, how to uh, cooperate and uh, uh, they know their role in terms of attaining the 
company's objective. Well, we are also nurturing our customer-centric and high-performance culture to promote uh, excellence and professional growth. And our employees are also involved in uh, making sure that the objectives of Land Bank is attained. Well, let's finally look at the objectives of Land Bank, looking ahead perhaps up to 2018. What are your, your plans for expansion and sustainability? Well, uh, we are uh, looking at a, a set of objectives uh, along the different perspectives. First is uh, learning and growth. We want to uh, make sure that uh, we have a high performance culture in the bank. We uh, Internal processes, we want to improve our internal processes so we'll be competitive, innovate so that we can... Uh, uh, make sure that our clients are uh, satisfied and delighted with our services. We have to uh, improve on products and services. And of course, uh, technology is a very important factor in uh, innovation. So the third one is really uh, stakeholders and customer focus because we want to make sure that our uh, services are uh, responsive to the needs and uh, wants of our customers and our stakeholders. Another of, is, of course, the financial aspect. We have to make sure that we are viable so we can support our developmental uh, programs and projects. And the socioeconomic impact, we will continue to uh, make sure that our priority sectors are uh, given attention these are the small farmers and fishers, micro, small, and medium enterprises, agri-agribusiness, and of course, government projects like housing, schools, and uh, hospitals. These are the priority programs of the bank. Well, challenging times ahead. In the meantime, thank you so much for coming to London and talking to us, and congratulations once again on those awards. Well, thank you very much, and we are very proud to accept all these awards. Uh, but uh, we recognize that there is a lot more things that we need to do in terms of our vision and mission. Thank you. Thank you.